When I heard that I was going to have to go through chemotherapy, I will admit to you the first question I asked the doctor was, will I lose my hair? I mean, it's the first thing you think about because all of a sudden you know you're going to look like a cancer patient. And, you know, it's terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've heard from a lot of women uh, on social media, though, that they're actually afraid to go get mammograms because they're afraid of losing their hair. You cannot think that way. At the end of the day, when we're dealing with cancer, you've got to try to catch it early and fight the fight. And remember, it is just hair and it does grow back. But when I came to that realization and I calmed down a little bit, I decided to take control of the inevitable and shave it all off. Uh, by the way, you can check out that video here on Alive. Um, yes, of course, I pulled out my iPhone and videotaped it. Are you kidding? But let me tell you, it did feel kind of amazing to be in control of at least that part of my cancer. But there are other ways in which you two can prepare for hair loss. So here are the ways you can do it. You can cut it short. Um, and a lot of women do this because it is true that your hair almost always falls out in about uh, two to three weeks after your first chemo. Um, so cutting it short, though, in the beginning, it can just make that switching to a wig and losing the hair a little bit easier and less noticeable. Now, another method is you can be like me, and you can channel your inner warrior and go out there and shave your head. Um, it's obviously the route that I took, and you don't have to feel like you need to do it. I walked into a, a hair salon that I'd never gone to before um, to get my hair done by myself, and I asked a total stranger to do it. I was afraid if I took a friend along, they'd talk me out of it. Um, <clears throat> but you can just ask someone to help you uh, whether it's maybe your hairstylist or a family member or a friend. And you don't have to go to a salon. You can get something like this. Once my head was shaved, um, a woman who was going through chemotherapy and was completely bald, she said, you should go get a peanut. See that? It's a little electric shaver. It's called the Peanut, and it's by a company called Wall, W-A-H-L. And I just Googled it, and I bought it offline. But the good thing about it is that it's really safe and gentle, and you don't have to worry about cutting your head at all. Um, and then the only thing you need is a little stroke of uh, confidence and bravery that you can do this. I'll tell you one thing. Shaving my head totally put me into warrior mode. And then finally, and it's totally okay if you do, the, the, do this, just let it fall out naturally. You know, I understand that when we're diagnosed with cancer, everything seems to happen at rapid speed and it can really feel overwhelming. So I totally get it if you don't want to suddenly go out and shave your head on top of everything else that you're feeling. If you choose, though, to let your hair fall out naturally, again, it might be a good idea to cut it a little bit shorter or to get like one of those little mesh caps so that when you go to bed at night, you put that on, it'll catch the strands um, so that you don't, you know, wake up in the middle of the night to find a lot of itchy hair all over your pillow. Um, I hope that these tips help you to prepare for something that most of us have to go through when we're battling cancer. And yeah, it totally sucks, but take a look. I'm on the other side of it. This is, uh, and I've just been kind of skimming the ends, but otherwise, this is me eight months after chemo. It does grow back. So remember, it's just hair.